Life can be full of coincidences. Some of them are fun and some of them, well, they're just plain eerie. Such is the case here. This particular coincidence was so odd that I think it's fair to say that it haunted the cast of Little House on the Prairie for months after it occurred. So before we get started, let me just say that if you've been around long enough to remember Little House on the Prairie's 1974 debut on NBC, well, you know that it was an instant hit. Yep, television audiences in the U.S. would follow the adventures of the Ingalls family for nine seasons before Michael Landon moved on to another big hit, Highway to Heaven. And it was on Little House on the Prairie that we were first introduced to Walnut Grove's founder, a kindly man named Lars Hansen, played to perfection by Carl Swenson. Of course, I'd seen Carl on TV and in movies many times over the years. Before Little House, he played Eddie Haskell's dad, George, in a couple of episodes on Leave it to Beaver. And he made the rounds on many TV westerns like Bonanza and Gunsmoke, and I believe this image is from one of my father's favorite programs, Maverick. In the 60s, Carl even showed up on another one of my favorite shows, Hogan's Heroes. Of course, I didn't see any of these appearances until the 70s, when reruns of shows like Leave it to Beaver and Hogan's Heroes played in the afternoons. But like I said, it was on Little House on the Prairie that Swenson really found a home. Over the course of the show's first five seasons, Swenson made 40 appearances as the founding father of Walnut Grove. And it was during that fifth season where this odd and very strange coincidence occurs. It takes place while the cast and crew were filming an episode titled There's No Place Like Home. In that particular episode, the Ingalls family, along with other former Walnut Grove citizens, return to town after an extended absence, only to discover that the town is dying. And along with Walnut Grove in decay, Lars Hansen is very ill as well. The episode is about a rebirth of sorts for Walnut Grove. Things do not go as well for the town's founder. And as the episode comes to an end, we hear Laura Ingalls tell us that Lars has passed away. So it's, yeah, definitely a fairly sad episode of Little House on the Prairie. But there really isn't anything strange about this story up to this point. Here's where things get a little bit odd. You see, it wasn't the intent of Landon or the creative team to have Lars die in this episode. However, Carl had pulled Michael aside and talked to him about being ready to retire from the industry. He wanted to be done. He was, after all, 70 years old and ready to focus on other things. As such, the episode was written with a much sadder ending than was originally anticipated. However, eight days before the episode aired on network television, Carl Swenson had a heart attack and died while visiting relatives. And things got even more strange because, according to an article in Peter McDonald's Hollywood Hotline, Swenson's moving final performance as Lars Hansen, which had reduced the entire cast to tears, was now causing them to speculate as to whether Carl had perhaps had a premonition of his own imminent death. Who knows? However, when the episode was broadcast, I have to believe that Swenson's performance was a haunting memory of their dear friend and fellow cast member. Sadly, it would only be a handful of years later that Michael while on a ski trip in my home state of Utah in 1991, started to get migraines that were absolutely unbearable. And after visiting with a doctor and a host of tests, it was determined that he had developed a form of pancreatic cancer that was swift moving and unfortunately very inoperable. A few months later, Landon would leave us as well. It was truly a heavy blow for those of us who were big fans of his work. You know, Talking about both Carl and Michael is the perfect segue for me to mention one of my favorite Facebook groups. So if you're a fan of TV and movies from yesteryear, I think you will enjoy the Tragic Stories of Hollywood and Remembering Our Favorite Celebrities group. Trust me, despite the long and somewhat foreboding name, it's actually quite a positive place to remember and reacquaint yourself with some of Hollywood's brightest lights. All right, I probably should have mentioned Swenson's small but memorable role in Hitchcock's The Birds. You know, this is the movie that caused my mother to be afraid of birds for the rest of her life. Thanks, Alfred. Just thanks. Anyway, please share your memories in the comments section. And while you're at it, I'd love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I would be absolutely honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. 
I talk about music, movies, mostly television, from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.